Hey YouTube, Coppersan here. Today we're becoming one with the wind as we train a remastered wind archer to level 202, going over all the skill changes that were made while we level up. This class was the slowest out of all Cygnus Knights that I trained so far. Only Blaze Desert is left and this one was pretty bad. I'm not a fan of their first few job advancements myself. This is one of those classes that really starts to shine after the fifth job advancement though. I have this class as a bossing mule and I absolutely love it, but I hated training it. <laughs> Wind Archers are also one of the most straightforward classes out of every Knight of Sickness. They're as straight as an arrow. Remember those elemental summons from your first job for all the Knights? Dawn Warrior summon gives you stacks when you switch between elements. Those are needed for your space skills. Thunderbreaker's elemental toggle gives you stacks when you link skills, increasing your stats. Nightwalker's elemental summon leaves a debuff and you deal damage over time. And then there's the Wind Archer elemental. Gives you 10% damage, you can toggle it on and off if you want to be weaker, I guess. Take it or leave it. Wind Arches also learned a unique Wind Walk skill in their first job. This is a short dash that can be held to keep traveling and can be used in the air. Also, when you collide with monsters while you're in the skill, you won't take any damage. It's a pretty dope skill and great to avoid a lot of boss attacks. Their main bombing attack in first job is Arrow Breeze, which isn't too bad for a first job attack. I got kind of bored of going to Rihanna Strait like all the time for every video, so today we're going to be chilling in the Gold Beach theme dungeon. I have to complete at least one theme dungeon to get some EXP cards from the step-up event in the Burning World. With the second job advancement taken, you learn another unique skill called Trifling Wind. This toggle skill gives you a chance to shoot out additional arrows when attacking. You keep getting more and more of those, making this class very satisfying to look at. Besides that, in the second job you learn a bunch of passives. Make sure to put a point in Sylvian 8 so you no longer have to use any arrows, which is always useful. You also learn two attacks, Gust Shot and Spiraling Vortex, with Vortex being previously your 4 job skill. Spiraling Vortex is by far the nicest skill to grind with compared to Gush Shot. The only downside is that Spiraling Vortex pushes monsters away. This is something that almost all attacks of the Wind Archer do. It ain't much of a problem for now because we can still one-shot monsters, but if you don't one-shot monsters and you keep pushing them away, it can get quite annoying. And bam, third job already! We're really flying through these job advancements, it's just a very easy, straightforward class. Your third job skill passives bolster your elemental resistances and increase your attack speed and attack when you hit a monster. You also learn the attack Pinpoint Pierce. You don't use this skill when grinding, but you will use it later on when you go bossing, because this attack leaves a debuff on monsters that increases your damage and ignore defense by 15% against affected monsters. You also get a boost to your Trifling Wind Arrows, the job advancement, and you learn the most amazing skill ever, Emerald Flower. This is such a good skill, it works a bit like the older puppet skill that Arches had. Monsters and boss monsters will start attacking the crystal instead of you. I think Marksman actually still has a similar attack, allowing you to free fire. It's an amazing skill, and thanks to this skill, this class is such a chill bossing mule later on. There also is Sentient Arrow, which is, I think, visually the worst skill in the game. <laughs> this green cone of wind damages monsters around you and pushes them to the side that you're facing. But not the entire animation is actually a hitbox, only the wind part of the skill is. The top crystal part that is in like a slightly darker shade of green doesn't hit anything. Super confusing and plain bad visual design in my opinion. Grinding with sentient arrows sucks, especially because you stop one-shotting monsters, so monsters you hit with the edge of the skill you push them away, meaning you're constantly chasing monsters around the map. Third job does not feel great for this class, but stay strong because fifth job will make all your pain go away. In 4 job things are looking a bit better, you get a ton of passives. Wind Arches being Arches have high base critical rate and base critical damage. And they get a small boost in boss damage and ignore defense as well. Together with their own debuffs they can apply, their passive boosts are actually pretty okay. So this class would be a decent bossing mule based purely on their stats. Being Arches this class of course also gets a hurricane skill called Song of Heaven. However this skill is unique in that you cannot move while using the skill. You're an immovable object when you hold the skill down. You can tap it and have the illusion of moving with the skill though. Your main mobbing attack in 4 job is your old second job skill, Fairy Spiral. You're an archer and all, but bow whipping seems to be the best attack for this class. <laughs> Imagine using a bow to shoot arrows, no no, just, just bow whip him. Besides that, you learn the Sharp Eye buff, increasing your critical rate and critical damage even more, and you get the Stormbringer buff, which allows you to summon even more small arrows. Especially when you use Song of Heaven and you see all these arrows popping out, it's very satisfying. Your crystal that distracts boss monsters gets a buff with the 4 job skills as well, lowering monsters defense by 10% and lowering the damage you get by 20%. One tip for the crystal, 
Familiar summons seem to interfere with crystals sometimes, so if you find the boss monster still targeting you instead of the crystal, try to desummon your familiar, summon the crystal again and then see if that works. Your hyper skills, you guessed it, pop out even more arrows, and those pack quite a punch as well. The only downside of this skill is that it only lasts for 30 seconds. Grinding with Fairy Spiral is also, again, annoying because it pushes monsters away, so to compensate for that you have to constantly move either left or right and keep up attacking to make sure to keep up where the monsters are going because you keep pushing everything away. It wasn't until I reached level 160 that I started one-shotting which made training a breeze, but before that it was pretty annoying. I quickly took care of normal Horntail for some bonus EXP. Man, seeing all those arrows pop out, it's so fun, it's so cool to look at. I have this class as a bossing mule and it's super fun and super easy. But first, let's actually get to level 202 so we can talk about the fifth job skills. There's one more hyper skill called Monsoon. It looks really big and impressive, but actually the hitbox isn't the biggest, even though the animation fits like the entire screen. For your passive hyper skills for this class, I recommend going for all the Trifling Wind boost and then Song of Heaven boost. I still have the IED buff on Song of Heaven, but I think I'm actually going to switch this one out with the Trifling Wind damage boost. That's probably going to be more beneficial because I have enough IED already. And so we reach 5th job, and that's where this class really starts to shine. I know I'm a bit negative about the earlier leveling experience, but I have nothing but praise for the 5th job Wind Archer. For example, you learn the 30 second cooldown Vortex Spear skill. This giant ball of wind travels across the map, sucking in all the monsters it's amazing for mobbing. You learn Howling Gale, which allows you to spawn tornadoes. You can use it with the down key to summon a big tornado, and with the up arrow to summon two big tornadoes. You can also right click it to make it slow down when it hits enemies, which is better for bossing. The big tornadoes you can only summon once you have three charges available, and one charge recovers every 20 seconds. This skill is great for mobbing and helps you spawn more arrows when attacking boss monsters. There is the 10 second cooldown Merciless Winds. Those are those smaller arrows popping out, adding a lot to your overall damage. And there is the absolutely amazing Gill Barrier. This 90 second cooldown, 45 second duration skill summons a barrier that blocks out damage. <laughs> Imagine taking damage. Imagine actually dodging boss monsters their attacks. With this skill you'll be free firing like a paladin. It's the Gill Barrier skill and your crystal summon that makes this class such a chill bosser. The boss doesn't even attack you because it attacks your crystal. And when it does you just pop your barrier like nothing is happening anyway. For early game bosses this class is so chill. I also recommend getting the Fifth Job Common Archer skill Guided Arrow. So you can pop out even more arrows and get vicious shot. This skill allows you to get more than 100% critical rate, buffing your critical damage depending on how much over the 100% critical rate you go. It is just beautiful to look at your stat with this way. Overall, I disliked grinding this class to level 202 the most so far out of all Night of Sickness. Your fifth job skills and bossing with this class is amazing. Grinding definitely gets a lot better past level 200 thanks to your new skills. It's not amazing by any means, but it's pretty fun. But bossing I think is where this class really excels at. Oh, and before I forget, for your inner abilities, you want to go for 20% boss damage on the first line, critical rate on the second line to buff your vicious shot even more, and 8% damage to targets afflicted by statuses on your third line. And if you're just grinding, go for 20% masses on the first line, of course, and maybe some drop rate on the second. For your trials, you want to be boosting Trifling Wind, Song of Heaven, and Stormbringer, and a second trial you need for boosting your mobbing skill Fairy Spiral together with Monsoon and any other skill that you're still using. And that was all for today. What do you think of the remastered Wind Archer? Let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, many thanks to our members for making these videos possible. Special thanks to the Niels de Comic, Rama Waar, Sebastian Hanoi, Riley Oss, Terry Kim, Faris, Kaudi Mora, Wai Lee, History Cannon, Backspace OTI, Safron X, Ziggy Deer, Flidiot, Knife Sue, Cloudfix, Gusus Rodriguez, Digby, Vyra, Trevor, Michael Menchaka, Ratius, Justin Veil, Silvio Nato, Afterlord, and Score MS, Striker Elk, Tidal One Pun, Radical Jaws, Riser Aryu, Sir Tito 655, Matthias Simonson, PC Game Life, The Passenger, Martin Panzik, Conra Cristales, Ace Light, Mr. Nark, Ben Wolf, Max Bernhardt, Mukao 1017, BMB King, Scotty Flies Fast, Priscilla, Brendan Cam, Vague Botnet, Fecko, Victor Sundstrom, Simak, Only, Rashid Alarudi, Gerlando Balavia, Gianfranco Calderon Canafero, Lucky Beats, Matin Udev, Gummy Bullet, Lord Fazil, Spuds D. Kaiser, Zunnen, That Archer Guy, Grogro, and Gabriel Eck. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and happy mapling!